Hi everybody, this is Shamla Pathasarthi. Today I am going to show you all how to prepare Tandu Kirai Soup or also called Amaranth Stem Soup. I will be preparing this soup along with beans. Now before starting off, I would like to tell you all about the importance of this Amaranth Stem. The stem lettuce is an excellent source of manganese which plays a key role in fat and carb metabolism. Okay, now let's see the ingredients that are required for the preparation of this soup. Here I have taken half cup of amaranth stem or we call it as tandakirai stem. I have chopped it and kept it ready washed, chopped and kept ready, had taken in this half cup. This cup is 250 ml and I have taken 125 ml of thunders and this is finely chopped beans, quarter cup I have taken and quarter, quarter teaspoon of pepper, corn, one tomato, small tomato and this is ginger, half inch of ginger and two garlic. Now garlic and ginger it depends upon you it is optional if you want you can add it or you can need not add this. Then I have taken here water to cook and salt to taste. To start off we will be putting all this in cooker and then allow it to cook for two whistles. Now first I will be adding beans Sorry, this is two cloves of garlic. I add this also. Little ginger, pepper, and the main ingredients that is the stem of tandakire. And now we will cut this tomato into piece and add it on to this. Yes, I have chopped the tomato. First, you have to wash it and cut the eye of the tomato and then add to this. Here you can add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Little quarter teaspoon of salt. And to this I am going to add 1 cup of water and keep it close the cooker and keep it on the stove for 2 whistle. Yes, now I have kept this in cooker for two whistle. But if you want, you can cook it even in the pan and till it becomes soft. So that you will be able to blend it after it gets cooked. Yes, it has got cooked. Now I will strain the water and blend the tomato stem of thunder or amaranth and beans. We have to blend it into a paste and then we'll be doing it. Yes, now I finished straining it. Now once it gets cool, we'll be blending it. Yes, I finished blending. Now I have to strain it. I'll be filtering it. Add some water, the same boiled water which is ready, where we allow the stem and the vegetables to get cooked. The same water I am using it. Strain it. Yes. Now I will add some more water. Totally I have added 500 ml of water. You will be discarding this residue. Now here I had used tomato. In place of tomato you can use even lime. Lemon, You can squeeze some lemon juice in the finally before serving. But it will change your taste. Now one more thing. Here usually for the soup we add corn flour for the, thick, for the consistency. 
yes i'll discard this for the thick consistency we'll be adding corn flour see here check it but if you are fine with it okay but instead instead of adding corn flour you can add for the thick consistency you can take half a teaspoon of green gram powder and not the corn flour and mix with little chill water that is room temperature water and mix it it is a healthier one mix it and then add it on over here there should not be any lump add it on and now let it boil yes finish boiling it's ready to serve i'll be taking it in the serving bowl yes yes your soup is ready to serve now some people like some crunchiness in that so i'm going to put this boiled beans i have taken out and kept already ready half a teaspoon now along with that you'll be adding quarter teaspoon of pepper quarter teaspoon of jeera and i'm not going to add butter but instead one small spoon of ghee or a topping it it's very good for health instead of adding butter you can add ghee yes the soup is ready your tandu kirai tandu of amaranthus or stem of lettuce is ready the soup is ready for to serve now if you like this video like it share it and don't forget to subscribe i shall see you in the next video bye for now